No, the idea. I don't know. There's something. Um, there's like a hierarchy here. You know, the stuffed animals. They're they're at the bottom, and then there's um the the, the staff. The what do they call them? Dash twos. And I think at the top is the dash threes. And the stuffed animals don't like to talk about the dash threes. So they don't. They don't like Cam. You like Cam? No, they like Cam. They just don't like to talk about. Yes. Do the plushies talk about a lot of things? Oh, oh, they tell me, they tell me so many things. They tell me where to find food, where to find uh, uh, working bathrooms and, and bottled water and, and all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, of course. Sure. Why wouldn't it? People, people lie. Sometimes they like to play with sugar. No, this stuff they always want to lie to me. I'm not. I trust these stuffed animals more than I trust the foundation right now. Okay, okay. I'm just saying, he's not here. We don't know who to trust. That's fine, that's fine. I'm, I'm Izzy, by the way. Izzy, my name's Rain. Rain? Rain, yeah. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Eric. Eric, nice, nice to meet you, Izzy. I was talking to Iris. She said you're a good guy. Iris, Iris is the... Actually, Iris is the only person I trust right now other than the stuffed animals. She gave me that? Oh, she did, you? yes. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a little drawing of Jungle Skog. Oh, nice. Of who? Jungle Skog. The bear. The yes. Uh, oh. Well, there are many Jungle Skogs in the Ikea, but this specific Jungle Skog is the second great Jungle Skog elder. He lives in that bedroom. He's very important. I think I met him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, He's, uh, he's a great guy, very helpful, very informative. I'm a, I'm sort of like a commoner though, so I, I uh, can't interact with him too much. He's, he's got a very busy schedule. Well, it works. You, no, go, no, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, besides figuring out last night, is there anyone else you need help with? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been working on getting us out of here, you know? Oh, Getting out of the idea. Well, of course, please. I don't know. I just think I leave. I will go. I need to ask people more about it. I'll buy some legit. Alright. Rain doesn't want to help us get out of here. But, you know that I talk to a stuffed animal, right? Yes. But sometimes, sometimes I can even hear the idea itself. Uh, and what's that? Well, it's sort of bits and pieces, like I'm like I'm catching your appearance on the radio. You know, I think it's sort of like a like a walkie-talkie or like a loudspeaker. Uh, it's not like a loudspeaker then. Huh? No, no, it's more like I I just I'm like on the wrong like channel, but I'm, I'm catching stuff. Like a radio transmission, huh? Yeah, yeah. But um, I think that the presence of the foundation is causing some sort of interference in this Ikea, and it, it's preventing me from communicating with the Ikea, you know? And I think the Ikea wants us to sabotage the foundation. And then, once we've earned this place's trust, it will, it will tell us how to get out of here. Or at the very least, you know, we'll be able to communicate it with it, because the, the radio transmission will be less and less garbled. So, I need some help messing with them. You in? What are you thinking? Well, there are four foundation members here, alright? There's uh, Edgar, he's the chief security guard right there in the Boston Red Sox time. And then you got Ren over there with the long hair. She's the other security guard. She doesn't do much. Then we've got um, the researcher. We've got Joe. Joe is in the uh, solo over there. And the head researcher is slow. The other one in the lab. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, I want I want to go after all of them. But who do you think is uh, best to go after first? Maybe one of the security guards. Security guards. Which Maybe. one? Maybe the one that doesn't do much, he said. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ren. Ren is probably the, the only foundation member who I can kind of tolerate. But um, it's interesting. They uh, they send her to go on supply runs with me all the time. You know, which is which is nice. But I'm a little suspicious. I think I think for one, they're sending out her to spy on me or something or mess with me somehow. And, and she, um, sometimes she talks to stuffed animals too. Oh. But I don't, I don't, I don't think she actually can talk to stuffed animals. I think 
that the Foundation's master plan is, is to undermine me, you know? By making it seem like she can talk to stuffed animals when, when I can talk to stuffed animals, and, and you know, I think that, that talking to the stuffed animals is the way out of here. I don't want to alarm you, but they have to be <gasps> No, Queen! Queen, love, love! This is the queen of all the There's a whale, though, you're looking for? Wait, Willie? Willie's gone missing? I know where Willie is. You know where Willie is? Yeah. Oh, Willie cares the blonde. I can... We've got a whale. bring the whale to... Yes! Yes! Thank you! It was all bargains. Hi. Yeah. Glad to help. Willie was under a bed. I don't know if they were hiding or somebody hid them there. Why would Edgar do that? They said Willie's a distraction, but that cannot possibly be true because Willie does more work around here than I do. Oh, yeah? That's interesting. Okay. And also, hi, I didn't think you met before. And we have with my unfriend, I'm a security guard here. Nice to meet you. There's a bunch of us. Unfriend, I'm a security guard here. Attention, everyone! Oh. We're going to have everyone gather in the living room, please. I guess you can't get yourself out. <laughs> Dr. Oz Wanda. If that is your real name. I have recently acquired this paper of yours. And this document reads, You've just got yourself your very own little mister. A limited edition collection from Dr. Wondertainment. Find them all and become Mr. Collector. Now, Oz, why would you have such a paper in your private possession, along with mysterious leaves and jars in your lockbox as well? Mm, why would I have such a thing in my box? Well, exactly. It is medicinal, first of all. Second of all, I mean, that could be there if, uh, say, I was there when they were born. Were you there at the crib? <laughs> Uh, can you all move the side first? Yeah, I probably Thank you. Now that the cat's out of the bag. What are you talking about? Whoa! 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 Wh
The SCP Foundation can sometimes find my broken toys, and they can cause a mishap. The SCP Foundation can sometimes find my broken toys, and they can cause a mishap. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, Smoked salmon for yes. six months. Oh, <laughs> there, six months? Some of us have been in here for over a decade. What do you have to say about that, you weird little wizard man? You think that I want to be here in your wretched little showroom? I, I don't know. You tell me. My business is a little bit bigger than your itty little bitty lives. <laughs> I own a toy company, and with that, I thought that this would be a fun little cute project until it. I heard that uh, there were some problems going on, and you know what, it did take me a little bit while to uh, check my emails and see that all this was happening, so I'm so yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, I was really busy. You've been here for a month and you've done absolutely nothing. You've made no progress of getting us out of here, okay? So it sounds like, for all of this high talk of yours, you're stuck just like the rest of us. No, no, no! Yeah. I've never been stuck once in my life. Things have just been taking a little bit of, uh... A little bit of time, yeah? Oh, we don't have time. Oh, but we do now, because you see, now that I've come out to all of you, I think that we can expedite the process. Pick that up, thank you. I think that we can expedite the process a bit, yeah? I know how to get out of here. Baloney! Okay, maybe I'm just thinking about it right now, but I will have the way to get out of here if you all stick by me, because I am the creator of this place. Are you kidding me? You sound like a crazy person. Out of your ass right oh, now! Oh, that's pretty rich coming from you! Okay, whoa, okay, whoa, stop, whoa. Stop, 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 Let's see what we can find any information that's useful about here. them. This is a dumbass! <laughs> Looks like a ridiculous, childish poem. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like Dr. Wondertainment. Do you happen to know something about them? Just a little bit. They're kind of a Willy Wonka character. Extravagant. Loves toys. Sometimes they're a little deadly. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we are caught in one of those sometimes. Yep. What's going on here? I, I was talking to some of the other uh, new residents, and they confirmed for me that the break that Cam went through when he committed the murder doesn't match up with his normal behavior. In fact, it seems more so like he might have been triggered into a murderous rampage of some kind. And so I was compiling the kind of these words, these associations, this psych evaluation, if you will, basically to try and determine if we can determine whether it was in fact something that was more natural with him, more of his SCP nature that came out and was actually, you know, his more regular state, or if he actually is behaving more like a human and can actually blend in more with society. Mm. Um, I, I don't know if you have the free time right now or have any interest in talking to Cam yourself. I actually talked to Cam a little bit. And, and your yeah. thoughts? They, they seem really confused. Yeah. They seem to think they killed someone, but they don't seem to know why they killed someone. Yeah. Do you know when they got injured? Uh, they have an injury on their shoulder. It was supposedly from his altercation with Carter. I think in a little bit of like a last dish. That's effort. what he said as well. I unfortunately was one of the last ones to come out and see the tail end of every, how everything went down between the two of them. Yeah, I mean, if, if you don't mind potentially essentially administering this psych evaluation to Cam. Sure. Great. Basically, I would just need you to uh, take down some of his, you know, gut instinct responses to these words. Okay. Uh, and then the second one, Izzy gave me these little, you know, literal lab rats. He thinks yeah. they, they can speak, but trust me, they're just little stuffed plushy guys. Uh, see if you can toss that into the shower container itself. And if you have any it. type of adverse reaction to it, note that. Okay. And then last thing for just a couple of memory recall things. See if we can get any useful information out of it. Gotcha. Uh, you would happen to have a clipboard or something, wouldn't you? I do not, unfortunately. Maybe Sloan has something you can borrow. I will station. check. Thank you. Hello there. Hi, Sloan? Yes, what's I'm, your name? I'm Eric. It's Dr. Sloan. Dr. No Sloan, my apologies. No worries. How can uh, I help you, Eric? Well, I hate to be so brief, but uh, I was wondering if I could borrow a clipboard. Uh, a clipboard? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm doing a psych evaluation. It would help me. Absolutely. Um, any kind of investigation, I'm grateful for this. So. Yeah. Do you need a pen? I got a pen. Great. I just don't have a free hand, exactly. So. There you go. Thank you kindly, Dr. Sloan. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.